Hi, it's Bernie Goldbach. I'm an American in Ireland looking at the Irish Sunday papers. I do this occasionally, less often now because of pressure in the timelines that I'm sitting in, weekday pressures. But anyway, this is the Sunday, the 3rd of February. I look at the Sunday Times and I stole some pages from Sunday Independent while stopping by McDonald's for pancakes this morning. Front of the Sunday Times, the top story concerns Garda murder suspect threatened by dissidents, written by John Mooney. If you go into the story, you find out that what's happened is you got organized crime in the area where a Garda was shot to death. And those ordinary, ordinary uh, criminals that are trying to take over the space of the organized dissident paramilitaries are running into issues. Security, polices, security forces believe some of the gangs are blaming those suspected of murdering Garda Adrian Donahoe for causing increased levels of police activity in the area and disrupting illegal activities. So what's happening is the guys who tried to knock over a um, credit union and they stole 4,000 euro killing a detective in the process, the, um, they've amped up the protection that's up there, the investigators. Okay, what else is above the fold on the Sunday Times concerns the app list? RJ Net, Robert Johnson, if you're listening, I think Ireland gets this list after you guys in England. So, part one showed up in Ireland today. I downloaded two apps. One's called pumps.ie because I didn't know that it was available for iOS. Another one called ESBE Cars, the Electricity Supply Board in Ireland, has a charging app. It doesn't recharge your car, it just tells you where they are. The charging points. I really like to get Ruth buying into the idea that we could do an electric car, but hey, let's figure this out. Bottom of the front page, new college grant test for farmers' kids. Rory Quinn, he's the education minister, is proposing to change college grant rules in order to capture larger farms, pubs, and other businesses worth more than 750,000 euro in a new means test. Of course, all the locals are going to be really upset about that. We live in County Tip, the Golden Dale, Tipperary, and lots of farmers around us who will be affected by that new way. Well, actually, students where I teach in Limerick and Sioux Technology will be crunched by that as well because we have an exceptionally large cohort of uh, students who are far from, farm, from farms. Inside the paper, the news section of the Sunday Times, all the papers in Ireland deal with this. Polish offcuts kill APB contracts. John Mooney has a story that basically zeroes in on the fact there's some bad documentation. Polish authorities don't think that horse meat and Irish burgers came from them because the, the factory that's being fingered said, look, you know, we, we test our horse, we don't do horse meat at our facilities. We couldn't have given that to you. So, hey, where's it coming from? Who knows? Facebook getting uh, good treatment for the holiday tax, basically. You can avoid being uh, paying tax in, um, under U.S. rules. Simon Duke writes it writes how that works. So basically a tax credit of more than $13 billion is available based on how they floated their stock. So if you give away stock, I guess you can use the value of that stock as a write-off against future earnings. So how about that, man? A holiday. Google also looking at things here in Ireland. They're in talks with the broadcaster, that's RTE, about content sharing. Specifically, apparently Google's done some stuff behind the scenes offering, according to Nick Webb in the Sunday Independent, to, the, to digitize a lot of the television and radio archive in the national broadcaster. Good idea. It's going to mean uh, you're going to have to pay for it. That's what you're going to have to do, pay for it. High noon coming this month. So the market insider, Dan White, the son of the independent, says promissory notes which really shouldn't be paid by Ireland. So if Ireland does it, and 70% of the Irish population think the government will do it, that is hand over 3 billion euro this year and next year and next year through 2023 where the money will just be burned directly by the European Union. Ireland got that money uh, to help bail out the banks and Ireland's trying to say look like Germany man give us about 40 years to pay it back but no but no it's not going to be a thing and what's going to happen well you're going to see things like this police report which is about the guards the, you know Irish police forces being cut back uh, you're going to see stories like this running and running and running. Lots of analysis in the Sunday Independent, this one is. Policing isn't about numbers or the hours the guard are available. So you, you shouldn't be just thinking about the number of people behind the desk or answering a phone. It's actually about maybe one guy hanging out in the street talking in the pub about local information. All around the area, you have 80-year-olds getting smacked up the side of the head and the, rob, the stuff being robbed from a money 
because the banks are closing down this local area too, which means you got to hole up in your house with money because, well, you don't have a car to go to the ATM, and when you go to the post office once a fortnight to collect your pension check, take it all in cash, take it home, and then you get beat up by a burglar who knows through threat they can expose where the money is. Awesome stuff about what's happening in Ireland. You know, for me, we live down the street from a guard who is like in the independent. He does divert phone calls from the from the uh, local station to his mobile. If we need to get help, we just ring the local station, it diverts to him. A local number, a number that actually uh, ends up going right to the guy around the corner. Meet the twins who are totally reinventing storytelling. Hugely successful story toys is how to do it right. And this is being written, the article is being written by a dragon, Sean Gallagher, talking about the pop-up stuff. Now, the arrow points to uh, Barry. So if you're watching this thing on YouTube.com, stroke top gold, you'll see Barry O'Neill, who I work with in Art House. He says, look, Aiden and Kevin, also in the photo, invented the first digital pop-up book. Definitely among the best gaming engineers in the world. And they are. I mean, they're selling that thing. The digital pop-up book. Also in technology, the shortfall of ICT graduates across the globe is growing. You just can't bring them in from the outside because they're not there. NOD says in the U.S., a recent study from the Center on Education and the Workforce at Georgetown University estimated there could be 230,000 shortfall of advanced degrees in the area of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. That's called STEM by 2018. How to solve that? Have more coder dojos. John Kennedy throws in a piece. Ireland's fledgling coders spread the word on software education. We're working with uh, coder dojos in Clonmel, where I work. James Wilton, first guy to hack the Apple iPod Nano, uh, gave him an idea when he did that to meet up and maybe have a bunch of guys who shared the same passion for coding and breaking and making. Coder Dojo is what it became. Bill Liao, who's one of the entrepreneurs who resettled in Ireland from Australia, also helps fund it or push it, promote it. It's a good idea. Really good idea. Look, Andrew Sullivan says another idea is sell your stuff online but through a syndicator. He... Um, he writes The Daily Dish, that's where I ran into him in the early 2000s. And he was uh, intrigued because the Atlantic asked him, hey, how about it? Put yourself on our site and we'll give you some ads. And he said, you know what? Um, put yourself on our site, we'll give you some money. He says, no, no, I'll take a shot at just taking a percentage of the ads. Since he was bringing all the readers to the site, when his blog first appeared, the magazine online traffic quadrupled. He thought he should have a share of the revenue. Good idea, Daniel. Look, <laughs> what else to do? Let's keep our heads out of the cloud and don't think you're going to take all this stuff in and make money right away. But hey, what? Tio Lin thinks you might. He, I ran into Tio before, he says in an article called Think Tank, in the Irish version of the Sunday Times, he says, research by Almarck, consulting shows 30, only 37% of Irish businesses have adopted cloud computing. Limited amount of people doing it. We teach cloud computing. The business Office Management course that I teach, and we also teach it integral to the social um, side of the social sharing side of the modules I teach in the Creative Multimedia Degree program you can get at lit.ie. Stay out of the line of fire, says Niall Brady. Word of advice to guys who are listening to this who've got little nixers going on the side. He's telling you, unvouch and, and um, a certain amount of kind of claims as a freelance consultant will probably get you audited by the revenue commissioners in Ireland. Lots of people are doing freelance stuff. I need to get into that as well, but I'll plan on vouching my stuff, making it simple. Now, why would I want to do that? Because I'm just putting this up called Cooker. Maybe you want to get a hot water kettle that's always smoking and always on. Q-U-O-O-K-E-R is one of the most Googled items. It's a high-end item for a kitchen. It shows up on my website. Another one, I really got to do this. Get rid of my clutter of CDs and DVDs all over the place. Well, CDs primarily. So there's a, a variety of ways of doing that, make it simple. Um, inside the Sunday Times Magazine, there's this running article about Brendan.co.uk. It's expensive, but it's a process I got to do. There's also something I may be bugging somebody who's listening to this on Audioboo, who lives in the UK. Can you help me out? Get me a Lancaster bomber. I'll give you the money for it. This promo that's running right now, which has gauges that look just like the Lancaster bomber being run by um, Bradford.co.uk. I'd like to get this thing. Probably going to cost me a bunch, though. I'm not even sure how much. Three installments. $99.99 is how much it costs. So 100 quid, 100 sterling. I need that. I need that bomber and the, all these instruments. I like these kind of things. 
kind of fun. Finally, what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna be doing, I'm not gonna see Lincoln yet. I'll probably wait for the DVD, but I am reading 1861, The Civil War Awakening, and you should too. Really excellent read by Adam Goodhart. To see whether I finish that book, and I will, check me out on my blog, www.insideview.ie, or watch my photo stream, Irish Eyes is my nick on Flickr. I'm Top Gold, I'm Bernie Goldbach, the American in Ireland. Thanks for listening to my short news round from County Tipperary on this third day of February. Bye for now.